Welcome to the weekday report for Tuesday, August 6th. I'm Joe Potente. Here's a brief look at the news. After a lengthy debate Monday night, the Kenosha City Council unanimously approved a conditional use permit for construction of a nearly 200,000 square foot Meyer store at 7701 Green Bay Road. Citizens spoke largely in favor of granting the permit, though there were a few concerned about how close the store would be to their land and whether local contractors would be hired. A Meyer attorney assured that bids would be accepted from local contractors. The attorney said a groundbreaking date is yet to be set. Kenosha's metro station is again without a restaurant tenant. Choo Choo's closed recently after doing business in the station for about eight months. The owners of the restaurant couldn't be reached for comment. Kenosha Area Transit Director Ron Iwin said three other parties have expressed interest in the site. City officials are waiting for Choo Choo's to finish moving out equipment and cleaning the space. Douglas Arndt was sentenced Monday to two years in prison for sexually assaulting women who had fallen asleep in his home. The 31-year-old Kenosha man pleaded no contest to two counts of third-degree sexual assault, a plea that means he accepts the allegations as true but maintained he has not assaulted the women. Without the plea deal, had he been convicted, he could have served far more time in prison. Zachary Close, the Bradford High School student accused of setting a plastic window on fire at the school last June, could be headed to trial soon. His arson trial is scheduled to begin Monday, but there are some issues that need to be worked out ahead of time. A motion hearing has been set for Thursday morning. Governor Scott Walker sounded off Monday on the DNR's killing of Giggles, a fawn that was seized from a no-kill animal shelter in Bristol last month. Walker said he has asked members of his cabinet to study ways to avoid similar situations in the future, adding, quote, I don't ever want to see something like that again. Republican National Committee Chairman and Kenosha Area Resident Reince Priebus is threatening to blackball NBC and CNN from televising future GOP primary debates if they don't pull back on a planned documentary and miniseries about Hillary Clinton. Priebus said the programs amount to an extended commercial for a future Clinton presidential campaign. CNN issued a statement urging Priebus to reserve judgment. NBC declined to comment on Priebus's request. What's trending today? Using the street as your ashtray could become costly in Chicago, where an alderman is proposing a fine of up to $1,500 and vehicle impoundment for those who throw garbage out the window of a vehicle. What do you think of this? Weigh in on our Facebook page. Up next is John Kadovich with a look at Red Light Runners. So how often do you see drivers barreling through an intersection when the light is red? Or how many times are you doing the speed limit and people are just passing you by? Well, in Kenosha, it seems to happen a lot. So we're going to try an experiment with Kenosha drivers as the guinea pigs. We're driving on Sheridan Road south from 60th Street. We're doing the speed limit, which is 30 miles an hour. And we're going to watch for speeders. I drove this route and several other streets several weeks ago uh, for about 36 different drives and found out that 92% of the motorists were speeding. That is, they were over the speed limit by at least one mile an hour. Well, here's one guy that's passing us up. And a second. So why do people speed? And why do they run red lights when they know it's against the law? Well, basically, a study said that most people just want to get where they're going fast. And Kenosha traffic cop Warren Arnold would agree with that. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people think they have an emergency, but they really don't. People will, oh, I'm late for a vet appointment. or I can understand that that sort of thing is stressful, but you're placing yourself and other people in danger and, and um, you need to be pretty critical about what you think is an emergency. I'm John Kadovich, reporting for the Kenosha News. Thanks, John. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. It appears there's some movement on the push to expand Kenosha's streetcar system. Janine Anderson is checking that out. And Deneen Smith will be at tonight's county board meeting, where there's likely to be talk about the sale of hard liquor on county golf courses. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Joe Potente with the Weekday Report.